What's going on people? Back with a bang. This is the Money Management back here to bring you guys another video today. So another day is down, another week is down. We're two weeks into October now. And you're probably wondering what exactly is happening with the stock market. As you can see, a lot of the indexes were down and even oil and gold were down as well. Now, I'm actually extremely happy with how this week went. And I'm just going to start off and get straight into it because of the gains this week. The group, the Discord went crazy. I cannot stress this enough. Everybody in there, on the live chat, people listening in, people talking, people trading, the call-outs, it was nuts. Now, I'm going to start off with my best trade of the week, which happened yesterday, and this was a Tesla trade. Now, as you guys probably know, Tesla had some bad news yesterday, and they got a price downgrade. And when this kind of thing happens, you guys should know by now, stocks like Tesla, big companies like Tesla, when they have bad news, can sell off extremely heavily. So let's take a look exactly how yesterday panned out with one of my trades so here you got my position tesla 212 dollar 50 put i bought 10 contracts it cost me 1500 dollars to buy this and before you knew it i was holding 6.2k now here you go tesla 206 dollars but look at it on the week it went from lows of 209 up to highs of 224 and then back down to 206 and counting now I'm extremely happy with this because, of course, like I said, it cost me 1.5K. And, you know, when you buy stocks like this, Tesla, they're going to run in, in a direction very hard. So you can see here, current holding 6.2K. This is while I was recording during market hours. Again, bought it for 1.5K. And like I said before, when you get on the right end of these kind of contracts, they can continue to run. Now, I waited a little while before I sold, but I ended up selling at a 392% gain. Right here, you can see it. I bought them for $1.50 each, sold each and every single one of those 10 contracts for $7.38. That's a 5.8K gain, 392%, all in a few hours. Now, that wasn't only the thing that happened yesterday. Also, we had people trading SPY puts, SPY to the downside. Let's check this S&P 500 ETF SPY. Here we go, SPY to the downside. As you can see, SPY hit yearly lows this week. Yearly lows, guys. Here, 348.11. That was on Thursday. And the ironic thing is, Thursday it hit those new yearly lows after CPI came out. Then it rallied to highs of 366 or 367 intraday before setting off again Friday. Now, I don't know why all this is happening, but either way, I took profits or I took advantage of the spy run up this spy run up you see here let me just show you how now again we're going to look at the contracts i took so this was probably my best trade of the week when it came to returns within a few minutes because here i have my trade i bought spy contracts three dollars forty each my strike price was 362 dollars so that means you know i'm expecting spy to hit 362 dollars by the expiry date here you have it i paid just three dollars forty for each contract and that cost me a total of $1,000, basically. This ran up to 4.85 or even $5 per contract before I eventually sold for 60%. Again, this took only three minutes. Yes, it is actually ridiculous. Three minutes to turn 1K to almost 1.5K. This is the kind of thing we were on yesterday and this whole week in, in total. Making that money and moving, making that money and moving. Like I said, I eventually sold for 61%, so it turned 1K into 1.6K. And I was extremely satisfied with my results. Now, another great trade from this week, PayPal puts. You guys may have seen this one, but if you didn't, let me just show you again. PayPal also had bad news over the weekend. One of my favorite stocks to watch for this week or my top stocks to watch for this week. Look what PayPal did this week. So we, st we started the week around $85. We hit lows of $79 on Tuesday and then hit it again yesterday, Friday. This helped me turn $1,075 to $3,240. Again, this was a swing trade, just playing off PayPal's bad news, and we profited heavy off it. Now, like you can see from the trades I just told you about, this week there were so many different types of wins, you know. You went with the scalps, you know, the three-minute trades. You went with the day trade, like Tesla on the Friday, zero day to expiration. We went with the swing trades, like PayPal. And all of these paid off. Now, in the last video I made, when I said I expect SPY to hit new all-time lows this week, that is exactly what happened. But it's not about being right. It's about taking advantage of the play 
and obviously the news to make your money, which is what I did. So look, I had a crazy reversal Thursday. We already analyzed that. There was a rebound, but hey, that wasn't exactly the bottom, not necessarily the bottom, let's say. Inflation is at 8.2%. That's the CPI data that came out Thursday pre-market. So, you know, there's a lot going on right now. Let's see how next week pans out, but I'm definitely excited. It definitely intrigued to see how it all plays out because, again, there's so many stocks on discount right now. Tesla being at $204 is a huge bargain. Netflix being at $215 is a huge bargain. The S&P 500 being at yearly lows is obviously a bargain. Apple being $140 is a bargain. All of these are bargains. It's discounts all over the place. So, you know, what I wanted to point out was when it comes to oil, right, this is a sector you can definitely look at in times like these. Um, Thursday, I managed to take advantage of MRO pushing up. And here we go. Here's a chart now. So if we look at the daily chart, Thursday, took advantage of MRO pushing up. Here you go. With the $28 calls, it did hit this resistance zone, which I'm intrigued to see if we can break next week again. But like I said, there are some decent setups when it comes to oil. ExxonMo was another one. ExxonMo was also one that I recommend you buy shares of. I talk about this constantly. Look at the pullback to the moving average before the push up. If it continues to sell off now, look and watch for a pullback to around $98 before another push up. But like I said, Trade your setups, you know, we that's what something we do in the Discord, you know, right now. We're really trying to help people understand the importance of having setups and trading those same setups. Now, I'm going to make a different video with, you know, a few stocks I'm eyeing for this week. As always, the main watch list will be in Discord. But I just wanted to highlight the importance of trading your setup, keeping your losses small. You guys know we love trading AMD, advanced micro devices. This was from the tech sector. What direction is it going in? Obviously, you can see it's going down right now. Trading a setup is important because we traded AMD this week and we made profit off it. We traded AMD last week, made great profit off it. Again, look here, EMA crossover. Huge red candle to start the day. RSI crossing to the downside. Everything here was showing bullish signs. We opened at what? 59 something? Let's see. 59.94 and closed at 55.94. Look at that. That's a $4 drop. You can take advantage of these plays. You can take advantage of these stocks selling off and make money that way. I'm telling you, it's happened multiple times this week and it's going to happen again multiple times next week. But what I want to highlight is, yes, we did make money in Discord off AMD puts. Yes, it worked out because, you know, here you can see the big drop after CPI data came out. But you've also got to watch for those quick rebounds because look, after CPI data came out, we sold at open. You know, I can show you guys in the Discord moment market open was there a few minutes in bang we sold you know you're not always going to sell at the low but that's what we managed to do this week before you knew it it ran up four five six dollars that's what you've got to be wary of because some people have had the amd puts from wednesday to thursday and then they wanted more and more and more gains meanwhile it's already over 100 percent. you've got your home run take your money and move it's important to cut losses quickly it's important to take your profits when you see them this is a market where you kind of see green and you take green you know, unless there's a very clear trend, like maybe what happened with AMD yesterday or Tesla yesterday, unless you see that, take your profits. You don't want to see something drop heavily overnight and then just say, oh, yeah, it's going to continue dropping. You see it start pushing up. You see the moving average crossover. That's your sign to get out. So let's just check a little bit on crypto right now. I'm going to obviously look at Bitcoin, the biggest cryptocurrency out there, biggest market cap. So Bitcoin is at 19K. One thing to watch, you see Bitcoin under 19K this week or going into the new week, that's a sign that you probably want to look at the market pulling back a little bit, maybe selling off. You know, I mean, when it comes to crypto, crypto doesn't close, right? Crypto is there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you kind of have an indication sometimes of what the market's going to do just by looking at crypto. Of course, you can look at Sunday night in the futures as well, get you an idea of what's happening. For those who don't know, this is the futures right here. Look at this. Look at futures and then you can just get an idea of what's happening, how the market's moving. But like I said, this week I'm extremely proud of everyone in Discord. We had people whose portfolios gained, you know, 70%, 60% in one day. People was making money off spy puts, people making off money off swinging spy puts, people making money off various different plays, you know, spy calls like I did. All sorts of plays were there for the taking. 
once again, you know, I'm happy that this week we made money in the market. We do it a lot and we stay consistent with it, which is a huge thing to watch out for. Like in this market, in general, you want to stay with people who are staying consistent. You want to be consistent in this market. I'm telling you guys, there are so many different stocks you can trade. We had people who made money off Netflix calls, Netflix puts. We had people making money off all sorts of different plays. Tesla, again, I just want to look at it in a second, but first let's look at Netflix. Here we go. Netflix hitting lows of 211 on Thursday before rallying up to highs of 238, which is why if you are careful and you are, I'd say, I don't want to use the word smart, but if you are, do manage your risk when you enter a trade, you can profit big off these kind of run-ups. You know, this was a Netflix run-up Thursday before a little bit of a sell-off, you know, not a huge sell-off, but a little bit of a sell-off Friday. Tesla, again, you guys know what we did with Tesla. Us in the lounge chat, we're just jumping on the puts. Tesla ran up huge Thursday from lows of 207 to highs of, you know, 222 before opening at 224 yesterday and then selling off all the way to lows of 204. Shout out to everyone who traded Tesla puts. I know Dre was there with the 205 put, the 207.5 put, the 202.5 put. I was there with the 212.5 put. We had people in there with the 210 put, the 200 put, the 190 put. Either way, we went crazy in the Discord. And once again, I'm so proud of everybody who took part. But as always, if you want more plays like that, you guys know where to be. The Royal Trading Academy is where it's at. Right now, we're just working on a few different things to make the Discord even better, to continue helping you guys learn, to continue producing amazing students, all that kind of stuff. So come and check out the Royal Trading Academy. Link is in the description below. Also, make sure you guys check out the Stock Option Starter Pack. That is 10 videos you guys will have access to for life. If you use that, you can do this kind of thing that we've been doing when it comes to trading. You will understand what you're doing when it comes to the calls, the puts, different trading strategies, the put debit spreads, the different butterfly spreads, all that kind of stuff. As always, make sure you guys check out my different socials on TikTok, on Instagram, on Twitter, at The Wealth Prince. And most importantly, drop a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy this video. Drop a thumbs up if you did make money this week. Comment if you made money this week. Let them know how we've been doing. Let them know that we're going to continue doing what we have been doing. Overall, thank you guys so much for today's video. Make sure you hit every button if you're new to this channel. But that's it from me. Make sure you guys are back here next time for another video. Thanks a lot for watching. I got me to making, you got me to making. See you guys next time for another video. Peace.